The Girl Can't Help It is a 1956 rock and roll musical comedy starring Jane Mansfield and features musical performances from, among others, Little Richard, Fats Domino, and The Platters. When it was screened in England, it was, for some, the first time seeing these acts perform on film. Among those impressed and influenced by it were the young Beatles. It's very safe to say that without this film, we may not have the band at all. Years later, during the recording of the White Album, the film would also indirectly cause the creation of the song Birthday. The movie would be playing on TV for the first time in England on September 18, 1968. The band heard about this and decided to work their recording schedule around it. Chris Thomas was filling in for George Martin at the session and recalled, The idea was to start the session earlier than usual, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and then go around the corner to Paul's house, watch the movie, and get back to work. So on the day, Paul was the first one in, and he was playing the birthday riff. Eventually, the others arrived, by which time Paul had literally written the song right there in the studio. We had the backing track down by about 8.30, went around to watch the film as arranged, and then came back and actually finished the whole song. It was all done in a day. Backing vocals were handled by Yoko Ono and Patty Boyd. Even Mal Evans assisted with some clapping. John would later recall the event saying, Birthday was written in the studio, just made up on the spot. I think Paul wanted to write a song like Happy Birthday Baby, the old 50s hit, but it was sort of made up in the studio. It was a piece of garbage. Some could say that because of the band wanting to see the movie, it resulted in the rush nature of the track, as well as Paul's singing style mimicking some of the acts featured in the film. The piano on the track during the break was fed through a guitar amp to create that unique sound. As far as the song being about someone's specific birthday, Paul said, I don't recall it being about anybody's birthday in particular, but it might have been. But the other reason for doing it is that if you have a song that refers to Christmas or a birthday, it adds to the life of the song. It's a good song because people will pull it out on birthday shows. So I think there was a little bit of that in the back of our minds. The song was selected as the start of the second half of the Double White album. The song proved popular enough being used, as Paul had thought, at birthday shows, with him even including it on his solo shows years later. Eventually, the song would receive its highest honor as being performed at Showbiz Pizza by the Rock of Fire Explosion Band, a single which I happen to have on 45. It's amazing how little instances in life can result in the creation of art. Whether it's a film influencing kids from Liverpool to take up guitar, or the same movie being shown on TV and resulting in one of the band's most upbeat and celebratory tracks. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.